Welcome to the instant sequence on all your lights from scratch tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to cover how to create an instant sequence on all your lights without a visualization file that you created in the visualizer. Um, starting out in the uh, default CCR mode screen of the Superstar Sequencer and to do a sequence on all your lights you need to be in visualization mode and there's two ways to do that. One is to click on the tools menu and select layout and here uh, you can select either CCR mode or visualization mode uh, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to go into visualization mode the way you most often would in uh, real usage and that is by clicking on the file menu and selecting import visualization. In this dialog box you can just accept all the defaults and click on OK and then it has you select the visualization file you want to import. Uh, we're in the default directory which is visualizations editor and I'm going to go into the samples directory off of there and open up lightstrings dot L E E uh, which will be on all of your computers that uh, comes down standard with the S3 download. We click on open and here we see a uh, some light strings on a house here and we can do an instant sequence on that by clicking on tools instant sequence and we first have to open an audio file. I'm going to open house on Christmas Street and click on sequence all it has to first analyze the uh, the audio file and create all the triggers and after it does that it will create the effects for the instant sequence and we're almost done there we go and there's our effects at the top there and we can play that and that's the uh, the sequence that it came up with very quickly now that's really cool but that's how you do it if you have a visualization file what if you didn't have a visualization file and you want to just do an instant sequence based on the number of controllers you have well you can do that and the way you do it is you go into the tools menu and select create quick visualization um, up will pop a very large dialog box and uh, the default setting for this when you launch yours will just have this one thing checked um, for that light strings um, visualization it I happen to know that it has 48 channels on uh, and it uses three 16 channel controllers and the unit IDs are one two and three now you can go change these to cosmic color ribbon or DMX universe you can change the network and the unit ID but the defaults here are the way most of us have stuff set up so all I had to do was put a check mark by the first three controllers and I'm ready to uh, click on create quick biz and it created this very simple visualization of uh, my controllers it just uh, created 48 white dots here and each one of those dots is maps to a little square on this one sequencing row and we can do an instant sequence on that so we just say sequence all again it creates an instant sequence and it puts it up there and that's what it came up with uh, you notice this time it only has one row because there's just one row on our sequencing grid and all of the effects are white uh, that's because we all we just told it the number of controllers we have and it has no information on the colors of those channels so it just assumes they're all white and if we play this this is what it looks like 
And so it plays that pattern across all these channels. And what you would do in real life is uh, export this. Uh, but I'm going to first save the sequence file. That's a good practice to do so that you can give it a name. Right now it's untitled 14. Um, and I'm going to call it quick viz sample.sup. And now I'm going to export that. And when we export this um, visualization, that creates a file that the Lightorama sequence editor can read. So uh, now we can go launch the Lightorama sequence editor. And when he comes up, we can open up that file that we just exported. Um, he comes up with this dialog box that has three tabs at the top. Um, I have the existing sequence tab selected and I have my files sorted by date modified. And so the very top one here is my quick viz sample underscore sup dot lms file. And uh, so we open that up and it's there it's up and you can see these are all the patterns that it came up with and there's the 48 channels off the side the names on it are very long so you have to expand it here to see the full name that is assigned to all those uh, 48 channels now in real life what you would do is uh, play this sequence to your real lights and you're done. Um, I don't have a set of real lights uh, that I can play this to but I do have a visualization and the whole purpose of the visualizer is to let you see what your light looks lights look like so that's what I'm going to use it for. I happen to have the visualizer already launched here um, and I'm going to click on the file menu and say open and again he's in the default directory of visualizations editor and I'm gonna go into the samples directory that is off of there and there is that light strings uh, visualization file I open that and there you can see that's the same file we were looking at in Superstar and in the visualizer right now we're in the mode that you draw things with well if you want to play a sequence back you go into simulation mode and you do that by clicking on this little button here on the left end of the uh, toolbar we click on that and you get this blank blank screen he's sitting there waiting for uh, channel commands to come from the sequence editor I'm gonna go over here uh, you just have to trust me here's the sequence editor I'm I gotta drag him out of the way so you can see the uh, simulation on the visualizer I click on the play button of the sequence editor and there you see the sequence being played in simulation mode now that's really cool that it came up with a sequence so quickly like that and that's what it would look like um, on your real display now one thing you'll notice is that since it had no color information it's just lighting up everything um, whereas if you had created an instant sequence using a visualization it would be um, using the color information to light up all the green lights and then all the blue lights in different patterns and so when you use a, a quick viz file it's not going to be an instant sequence that it is as good as a visualization but it still looks pretty darn cool so we to go out of simulation mode we're going to click on the stop button here and now I'm going to do um, use a quick viz file on a more complex visualization or on a more complex uh, set of lights and we go back down into the 
standard visualizations editor directory and I have this a visualization that Kenneth Smith sent me and it's a much larger light display one that we would all love to have um, and uh, now we're going to go into Superstar and we will import that um, that same visualization just so you can see it um, but uh, that's just so you can see it we uh, like I said the whole purpose of this tutorial is to say well what if you don't have you know we could create an instant sequence on this um, but what if you don't have a visualization of all these lights um, well you can do it the same way using create quick visualization and I happen to know that his light display here um, has controllers from 0, 01 up to 0 D so all I have to do is put check marks up here to 0 D and say create quick viz and it created this uh, quick visualization file of all those controllers. This time there's a, a lot more white dots and there's one, two, three, four, five sequencing rows that it assigned to those. So we can do an instant sequence on that. We say sequence all. And this is uh, an error that is important to know about. It says error failed to create timings unable to open audio file house on Christmas Street dot wave and actually I forgot let me do it again we got the error and it says down here um, oh anyway so it's there got the error again it says note if another program is using the audio file close the program and then create timings again well that the other program that is using the audio file is the sequence editor uh, once you play an audio file in the sequence editor, he grabs hold of that file and won't let anybody else use it. So for us to proceed in Superstar, we have to shut down the sequence editor. And now we say sequence all again. And he's going to go and analyze the audio file. And it has to do this because we have a different number of sequencing rows, and so it has to calculate the trigger points differently. And after it's done analyzing the audio file, it'll create the effects at the top there. And there we are done. So this time it has five rows of effects because we have five sequencing rows but again they're all white because it has no color information about um, the light strings that are hooked to all these channels so once again we can export this sequence and I'll call it quick biz sample again uh, we'll just overwrite that file that's already there and it just created an, another file for the sequence editor to use so we launched the sequence editor again because we had to shut shut him down and he'll come up with that um, dialog box here and quick biz sample is at the top again I open him up and uh, this time it's gonna be a, a bigger file it takes a while to open and it's gonna have a lot more channels in it. Okay, anytime now. There we go. Um, and there are the names, and the way it gets all these names of the channels from the uh, from the visualization file. That's what. Um, he named the uh, fixture that it was in and so that's where it got the name but here's all the different patterns that came up for these channels and again in real life you would just play this 
to your real lights because the whole reason you did this was because you don't have a visualization file. But since I don't have the real lights, I am going to use the visualization file that I have to show what this uh, sequence is going to look like. So once again, we click on this button to go into simulation mode. And uh, this little, this is a floating, you know, screen that is on top of Superstar. But uh, this is the visualizer right here. He's running. It doesn't mean that he's part of Superstar. I, I've had some customers think that, and it, and it doesn't. I can minimize Superstar, and he has nothing to do with this uh, simulation screen that is running. So, anyway, let's play the sequence. I just clicked play on the sequence editor, and that's what it came up with. Now that looks cool, but um, we're not seeing any of the white lights that are in his display. And I purposely did this to show you um, that uh, many people create their visualizations with a white background but if you do that you're not going to see any of your white lights in simulation mode and the way to fix that is to click on the edit menu and say background properties and right here is where you set the intensity of the background I like to set it at 50 percent and there now you have a gray background and when we go into simulation mode um, and play the sequence now you see all the white lights and again um, the colors aren't coordinated as well as if you had created this using the visualization file but there is some coordination with the colors and that's that's just because uh, people tend to organize their lights their channels um, uh, somewhat according to the um, the different colors so to me it's amazing that it coordinates the lights as well as it does even though it had no information on the color or location of those lights so that's uh, that's how we do it and um, so now you can as I said you can uh, use Superstar to quickly create sequences on any light display you have even without creating a uh, a uh, visualization file in the visualizer and as I said you could you could uh, in fact you know if you had two CCRs here you could say I have two cosmic color ribbons and um, say create quick viz and what it did here is these two bottom sequencing rows are CCRs and uh, and and it'll still create a sequence for for your whole set of lights and that's all I need to cover on this tutorial uh, thank you very much and have a super day